Your lips can do a whole lot more than kiss. Your lips express love and speak your truth. Plump your lips with Juvederm Volbella XC or Juvederm Ultra XC for natural looking results that are completely and uniquely you. Find a licensed specialist and see if it's right for you at Juvederm.com. That's J-U-V-E-D-E-R-M.com. Add fullness to lips in adults over 21 with Juvederm Volbella XC or Juvederm Ultra XC. Do not use if you have severe allergies or a history of severe allergic reactions or if you are allergic to lidocaine or the proteins used in Juvederm. Tell your doctor if you have a history of scarring or taking medicines that decrease the body's immune response or that can prolong bleeding. Common side effects include injection site redness, swelling, pain, tenderness, firmness, lumps, bumps, bruising, discoloration, or itching. As with all fillers, there's a rare risk of unintentional injection into a blood vessel, which can cause vision abnormalities, blindness, stroke, temporary scabs, or scarring. For full important safety information, visit Juvederm.com. Well, welcome back to the Bald and the Beautiful today. We are here with, um, I, well, I don't know they are. We are here with the people, oh, it's like, um, we're the ventriloquists and these are the Geppettos. <laughs> like Pinocchio and Geppetto, right? Wait, do, do you know what I'm talking I know. about? So Geppetto makes the puppets. Behind every great woman is an even better man. That's sexist. Yes. Well, isn't Rasputin puppets? Rasputin, isn't that his name? Oh, um, what is it called? Svengali. You're the you're the Svengali to our um, a stars on uh. I'll take it. Yeah, Svengali. Oh, is, it's a person who like controls you, influences you, like guides. Something your you need to know about us: all of our references are current, <laughs> <laughs> current in the zeitgeist. Rasputin, Zenga- Svengali. No. <laughs> um, basically, we're here with. Jeff McCubbin and Ron Hill, who are the superstar editors of our wonderful web show. Uh. And today we're going to be in a takedown piece yeah. of ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Because oh, yeah. we get all the credit for this show and we don't deserve it. Mama, we don't do jack shit. Nothing. We, sometimes I do less than nothing, and then you guys have to fucking wizard that shit into gold. What's the most shocking? Oh, God. I don't think you guys give yourself enough credit. I, I no. know. I'm guilty of that. No. She gives herself <laughs> plenty of credit. I don't deserve any of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, we haven't canceled in a while. That's big. Showing up is 100% of the job. I almost canceled the other day. <laughs> I know you did. And she does this thing where she's like, should we? And I'm like, say it, say it, say it, say it. And then she doesn't say yeah, it. Yeah. It's like Beetlejuice. Like, yeah. I need to say it three times. I'll say it twice. Candy and then man. she's like, yeah. you don't have to talk to Barbara, just say it. <laughs> and I refuse to I'm say that. I'm literally Candyman. I send of a hook. I've got like the cancel button and I'm just like right there in the mirror waiting for you. It's you with Starburst. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Um, so you edit our show. We do. We act in your show. Yeah, acting. Yeah. What's up with that? Yeah, like what's that all about? Like, how do you do that? What goes through your head? Do you love it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I know. Well, how, how Ron, did you get this job? I know. When did you start, Ron? I started as a night shift assistant editor, and it was my first job out of college. Night shift assistant editor? Yeah. I knew nothing about Drag Race. I knew nothing about drag. Um, and I just sort of like worked as a night. So you were like the album. Matt Damon in the Goodwill Hunting. Like you were like the janitor who like wandered in yeah, and but, solved all the stuff. But less problematic. And just oh, like Matt oh, Damon, oh, yeah. you just stopped saying faggot. <laughs> and thank God for your Took daughter who did that treatise and really like educated you because. And it was the fact that it was nine pages. If it had been eight, <laughs> no. Nine pages. No, I don't know no. how long it was. <laughs> no. he was like, I think treatise a, was a figure of speech. I just don't understand why you would even, of course it's horrible, but I'm also like, why would you tell people? I just stopped saying yeah. it two days ago he, because he is a movie star that is is a white man well i mean before he was on that show where he was like telling a black woman like how oh, like project green how, yeah on project green uh, like telling her how diversity should work like yeah. so he yeah he he's been dumb as shit he's had some but i want to know what's the original thing he said like what did he say it and i want to hear the joke matt demon <laughs> What's the joke? Oh, it's probably just like, uh, pass me the potato salad, faggot. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? It's it's probably just as innocuous just like, as that. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I hope it was like, um, I hope it was like T.S. Madison. Faggot, ooh, <laughs> queen. At, at the drive-thru. <laughs> yeah, at the drive-thru. <laughs> yes. Well, he is from Boston, so he probably says the R word regularly. You know, the F's are, he, you know. 
there's a lot of R wording in Boston. For sure. Oh yeah, and it's not like they're they're in another timeline in terms of like the political correctness um, education. The witches were just hung yesterday. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they're in a totally another timeline. Where are you from? Where are you from? Baltimore. Oh, oh God. I mean, yeah, they're pretty bad. Too. Yeah, <laughs> and you, worse, right? New Hampshire. So I, yeah. New Hampshire. So where, I where, where in New Hampshire? Uh, Springfield. It's like a town of a thousand people. Oh uh, wow, is that where they Nightmare on Elm Street? Less like way off the beaten path. Okay. Yeah, you Nightmare. grew up on a farm. Yeah, my parents have animals. Like what kind of animals? animals? Pigs, chickens. Uh, they stopped having the pigs once the bears got the pigs. Uh, Do you have bears, or the bears came from outside? They're wild. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wild the bears, bears get them. Uh, where in there? They had like a little outdoor pig pen, and it only got one of them, and then the other was like traumatized. Oh, sh- they probably that pig probably saw the other. That pig, pig get, watched the other yeah, pig get gets, pig get skewered. Yeah. <laughs> what now? What, what, were you? Did you uh, see the remains Sounds of like the pig? <laughs> I just think of the whole episode. Like, oh, the pigs are just getting it. <laughs> oh, yeah, checkers. Dog. Checkers is just getting checkers it. Checkers just getting it. <laughs> Watching my dog get murdered, my neighbor. He's just getting it. <laughs> Anyways, bye. Well, did they really, he really fuck up that pig? Oh, yeah. Yo, I th- she just like carried it off, like into oh, the woods. Oh, like, that's good. Own. Yeah. <gasps> that's good. That's oh. preferable. And maybe they're friends now. I don't know. Yeah, that's, remember Charlotte's Web? It happens. <laughs> oh, no. I hope it was like, I hope it was like, I almost called it We're Here, but it's called It Follows. Yeah. I wish We're Here was It Follows. Oh. The part where she's standing there and the hair gets like pulled up and oh, she's like yeah. lifted up. Or now, that pig is brought into the woods to learn how to be <laughs> wild. Yeah. You know? So how long have you been actually, wor- that means you've been working on the show for one, two, three, four, eight years? Uh, I've been at WOW for like eight years, I think. And then really? like the show has been like. Since 2016, 2015? Five so years? Six. Six? Six? Six oh, years. God. It's a long time. It's a long time. No, it's not six years, is it? Yeah. That's three times longer than Seinfeld. So it's like one season a year? Yeah. Are you ready to have, would you guys participate in a Friends-style reunion on HBO Max in about 30 years? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's I'll be in an urn. But only for, <laughs> <laughs> only for Friends money. Yeah, that's yeah. true. This is ignorant. Did they get paid to do a reunion like that? Oh. Uh, we're going to get a lot of money. <laughs> Of course, Courtney they do. Cox you finally mind? got nominated for an Emmy for that for doing the reunion. Uh, Are you serious? Yeah, she's the only Friends actor that didn't get ever get nominated. Oh, so it was a sympathy nod, yeah, or sympathy yeah, nomination. So. That's okay. So what? They're yeah. all sympathy nod. They're. I mean, uh, get I'm never the bag. gonna get one. None of us. Well, you guys might get one. I'm never gonna get one. Never say not. never. Never say never. They are so bogus. Like the Emmys. Idea, it's yes. It's like the drag pageants where they're like. They say it's her year. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? So it means these people can't win because it's per- their yeah. year. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't. And I want to know what Amy Adams and Glenn Close did. And also, when you win over and over for the same thing, it gets a little foolish and crazy. Yeah, I suppose it does. And then they give you. They have the thing where like they give you one, um, f- the the makeup Emmy or the makeup award for like the you do a shitty movie in 2010, but you should have won in 2009 for the great movie. Uh-huh. So they give it to you for the shitty movie. Right. Yeah. That was going to be Glenn Close and Hillbilly Energy. Oh, Hillbilly right. Energy. Yeah. Glenn Close and she should have won for that. Um, Glenn Close, but no cigar. Yeah. <laughs> that was Big her time. that year. Yeah. And she should have been like a 25 pound gold cape. It was, you know. Mm. Although if you were nominated for an Emmy, but you know you're not going to win because there's like some juggernaut like Nicole's nominated again for Nailed It. And she's like, I love getting nominated against RuPaul because like I'm not going to win, yeah. but I get to go. Yeah. And then she says it's like a load off her back. Yeah. Because she doesn't have to actually worry about a speech or like. But you should have one um, because Jodie Foster didn't think she was going to win at whatever this, the Golden Globes or whatever. She won and it was on Zoom. She was in the in her bedroom with her uh, lesbian wife. And she was just like, oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, re- what? Really? Whoa. Wow. Oh, geez. Can you, what? What? And the, it was just like, just say thank you and like let it. It was so weird. That's better so than like fake crying about God and stuff. No, just don't mention God, but fake cry all you want. Like, or ugly cry like Halle Berry in Monsters Ball. <laughs> no, I hate when they're like. I hate when. I mean, whatever. I hate when they say thank God. I'm like, Mary, God, thank ain't, the yeah. thank the PA on set that day before yeah. you thank God. Yeah, Mary. Yeah, thank Kathy Griffin told Jesus to suck it. I loved it. <laughs> I really, loved every second of it. Did you never saw that? <laughs> no. Oh my God! When she gets her Emmy, she says, "You know, a lot of people get up here and thank God for that award, but I want to say that no one had less to do with this award than God." 
And then she said, suck it, Jesus. This award is my God now. And people were so mad. Really? That's hysterical. Yes, so mad. First, yeah, I'd like to thank our Lord and Creator, the Savior of all of us, the one who made this all possible. Or could you imagine if you got up there and thanked Allah or something? People would be so mad. But if you thank God, no one cares. They would. Or yeah, or Ganesh. What about like a strange um, like Hindi deity? Zool. Zool. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the best one is you ever see uh, the best supporting actress for Nurse Jackie? I forget what her name is. But she literally Mary just. Mary Weaver. Did you yeah. see her? She literally yeah. went up and she just went, thank you so much. I gotta go. And then just <laughs> yeah, walked <totally>. away. <laughs> yeah, that was great. And she Elaine Stritches was great. Yeah. <laughs> was she panicked? I think she's probably just nervous and yeah, just like surprised. Yeah, I think she's like, I don't want to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the problem is I would get good and loaded and I would, and then I would, then. Add another thing. Right. <laughs> the problem is it would be that I get good and loaded and then accidentally win. And then I'm, you know, and we know that classically when celebrities are off the rails giving a speech, people, no one ever gets worried about them. <laughs> Would you guys make I mean, faces, like, if you lost, would you make, do that like polite clap or would oh, you be like? I would storm, I was. At the streamies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Walk at the yeah. streamies. Yeah. Grab the purse and hit the door. I, I said, Ron, get my purse. And he's like, you don't have one. I said, get the purse. We're <laughs> get out of someone's here. purse. Yeah. That was crazy. I forgot. That was so crazy. I love the streamies, but I called her and said, she called me and said, do you want to do this streamies thing? Because if you do, I have to start emotionally preparing myself for that. <laughs> Just because it was like 16 hour day. But, but I didn't know that 16 hours on a bus, on a moving bus. Tell them what time we had to be on camera and drag. I think it was 8 a.m. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that means getting in drag at home. 5.30. Packing the bag, camera ready, and then leaving the house. Uh-huh. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. The things we have to go through for the streamies, although they paid us, so. They paid us, and I wanted that award. I wanted it. Yeah, I feel like looking back, it's like it's only fair that they gave it to us. <laughs> but it was the, it was a, our uh, hillbilly energy moment. They made you work for it, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they did. we'll give you this award, but you need to spend <laughs> sixteen <laughs> grueling hours on a moving vehicle, a, like AKA yeah. K, you know, Keanu James Reeves. Charles gets hers delivered to her doorstep. Meanwhile, they're like shooting you at your feet. Damn, yeah, yeah. Drag queen, <laughs> damn. I wish they'd been holding it in front of you on a fishing yeah. line. Like, yeah, I seriously. You guys have been on the bus. Cameras mounted all over the walls, and we're trying to. There's literally a teleprompter, and we're like, and the next, we're in traffic, <laughs> and the next. Some of those th- times where we're talking, you can see us physically like, jolt. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot. I mean, if they might as well just like shoot us out of a cannon into like a uh, pool full of piranhas next time. Oh, so then when it aired, we had a group group viewing. Mm-hmm. On Zoom, remember? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I think I tuned in for about a, two seconds. You were there, right? I, there for a I, yeah, I was there, yeah. Or no, well, she wasn't there for the win, was she? No. You popped in and left. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw, were you guys gagged? Were you happy? Yeah. Were you genuinely happy? Can can I tell the truth? Absolutely. Yeah. You gave it, you told me. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And then I, I think because you, uh, what was it? Pete said, don't say, or no, you said. I said, we can't, can't tell say- Ron. And she basically has a bargaining chip. If we can't tell Ron, can I tell Jack? <laughs> that's the only way I won't tell Ron. <laughs> I can't keep a secret. I gotta, I gotta, you know. I wanted a pure reaction. (laughs) Did 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 he tell me? (laughs) God, I told him to pretend like he didn't know. (laughs) So he started crying and puking. I was, I was was making, I was calling Jeff beforehand, like practicing my shocked face. Oh, wow. And they were all better than the face I made during the (laughs) Zoom meeting with you guys. I was like, oh, wow. And I no, but I he literally, he, he wouldn't he shut thought, up oh, about wow, it. He kept talking the... about it, being like, I just think maybe, do you think we'll really win? And I'm just oh, like, it's like, I can't uh, take it anymore. <laughs> oh, he was like, do you think? Oh, you were really, really in like, he was oh, invested. I cared. I wanted to win because I want to win, but I also wanted to win for you guys. I was uh, like, everybody here deserves to win. That's sweet. It is all we have. It is all we <laughs> have. <laughs> <laughs> was that a cry for help, Ronald? Was that a cry for help? No, it's it, just it was. funny. Yeah. Because we get credit for that show all the time. I know. And you guys never get credit for it. I know. So. Pretty much every every opportunity we have doing press or whatever, I mean, I always kind of belabor the point that it is really through no talent of my own. I mean, it, I show up in a wig and then you guys do the, all the heavy lifting. No, but so. we were very lucky because I, you probably couldn't name any other show, YouTube show, where they're like, who are the editors of it? Yeah. Where at least you guys are nice enough to mention our names and say who yeah. we are. You guys are so nice to give us credit. And I mean, w- look, we 
we can do the uh, editing on stuff that isn't funny in the first place and then it feels forced and it uh, feels like you're kind of like pulling people through. like, like if you, people notice yeah if like you did dateline but in your ed- editing <laughs> style it probably wouldn't have the same yeah. whimsy catch a predator. yeah or like um <laughs> remember to catch a predator entrapment is that still allowed no, I think they know because the one guy committed suicide and then they stopped doing it. Oh, wow. I think they should stop predators, but also I was always like, what happens to these people? They should just focus that energy on like um, catching people who are trying to swap genders to go back to the high school to like right or wrong. You mean like you, you mean like never been kissed? But, yeah. But if they dressed up like a girl, so it's kind of like one of the boys meets never been kissed. No, yeah, like go undercover to get people to to find out who else is undercover because apparently everybody's doing it in high school. <laughs> I don't know. Strangers with candy. I've never you know? seen that. You've never seen Strangers with Candy? We talked about this when you were on the pod. I was already ridiculed. I was dragged through the mud. Well, let's do it again. (laughs) (laughs) What are your favorite, what's your favorite TV show? What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite color? Oh, we know your favorite favorite movie. Oh, The Green Mile. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so are we coming clean on everything right now? Okay, yes. Look, you're a liar. The Green Mile is a phenomenal film. (laughs) Yeah. It was one of many yes. movies on my list of yeah, yeah, yeah. movies that I enjoyed uh, yeah, on yeah. OkCupid. Uh, favorite TV show, probably Fleabag. Okay. I love Fleabag. It's great. Uh, favorite color, orange. Orange. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mm. Favorite movie, probably Lord of the Rings. Which, all of them? Return of the King. Okay. Yeah. Have you seen Old yet? No. Is, Have you? Oh, sure fucking did. did. You live? I lit. Uh, <laughs> it is probably the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. Certainly, but in a fun way. It, I was not bored. Okay. It is fucking ridiculous. It is. It is outrageous. I thought, I thought it hadn't come out yet. No, it did. I think it came out what like happens? last week. I, they get old, <laughs> Mary. This on a, on this beach, family so goes. This, <laughs> <laughs> this family goes on vacation to a resort, right? And. Um, you meet these cast of characters. Everybody is like completely just their profession, by the way. It's like the doctor only sp- speaks in medical jargon. The psychologist is trying to get everybody to process. And it's, it's um, so they go to this private island, come to find out every minute on the island is like a year. So they just start aging and dying. So th- at the end of the movie, they're all dead and old. Hilarity ensues. <laughs> There's this skinny, um, uh, stuck-up bitch who has, like, at the beginning of the movie, she's like, I have a calcium deficiency. I've got a calcium deficiency. <laughs> Uh-oh. Does this drink have calcium in it? And I'm like, okay, we get it. She's going to die of a bone thing. And um, she goes, and then her bone, like, she, t- Mary, it's pure camp. You will love it. Osteoporosis? Um, she, like, hump. She develops a hump like in 20 minutes <laughs> and her like she gets old hump and then she's like uh, freaking out and she breaks her breaks an arm and then it heals right where it is because her <gasps> bo- Mary it's like but she's narrating the whole time. Everybody's narrating what's going on because it's like, oh, it seems to be that the uh, the rocks and the gravity and the thing are aging us about approximately da 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 da. I'm like, what? It's crazy. Whoa. It is insane. It's insane. Hump. She gets a hump. Hump. One time I was talking to Benela Krem and she was talking about, um, she was talking about her number. She's like, I do like a Quasimodo number to my humps. And I was like, so you think people with different bodies are funny? <laughs> and you know, Ben's super PC. And we were on camera and her eyes just went like. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm just, it's fine. <laughs> She's always so afraid of getting in trouble. You should like, see it though. You would love it. Oh, of course. I'm going to watch it. It's kind of like, a, it's not as great as Ma, but it's in that vein. Oh. Yeah. Somebody said it was this generation's Ma, which Ma was like three years ago. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we're all aging quickly, especially yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. on a yeah. beach. Yeah, yeah, wow. it's good. Um, so, any uh, luck on the dating apps? Are you seeing somebody? Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, I'm single at the moment. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know. It's... Yeah, I have. I, I mean, I know plenty of girls who. What, what's your type? Do you have a type? Yes. Uh, okay, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff can tell you my type. I'm what too is, embarrassed. What is his type? He likes a girl with like a fun color hair, like a like magenta black? Oh. or something, and a girl like tat- a bad girl, like bad like girl. kind of like a rockabilly bad girl with tattoos and like. Oh, hair. I like that for you. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Maybe a piercing. Maybe like magenta hair, blunt bangs, and a couple tattoos, like a winged liner, like a Kat Von D. Yeah, yeah. criminal record. 
can't. Yeah, Kat Von D, I think, is pretty. I had someone who like fit that description slide into my uh, match. We matched on Bumble, and she messaged me, and she was like, "I eat you alive, but I just wanted to let you know that I love your work." <laughs> and that was the end of the Mary, conversation. Uh, no, Mary, please eat me alive. Yeah, she I said, like, "I eat you alive." <laughs> yeah. Why didn't she do it? Yeah, what's the follow up there? I know. I eat you alive, but don't I threaten me with a good time. Yeah. What does that mean? Also, I'll eat you alive. Like, I my pussy will like pulverize your, shred you up. I mean, maybe it was literal, and she just didn't want to like. She oh. wants on to continue. <laughs> oh, she I didn't see. want to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna find out more about what kind of girls <laughs> likes right after, after a short break. break. <laughs> Did you know that free trials renew without your consent? It is a business scam, okay? Today's episode is brought to you by Truebill, and let me tell you, greedy corporations are trying to steal your money. Pocket it, take it, snatch it. Download Truebill to take control of your subscriptions, okay? I'm going to tell you a little story. When I was learning to DJ, I used Serato. Serato is a DJ service that a lot of DJs use. It's software. Um, I, I used Serato for probably the first few months while I was learning, and then I transitioned to Rekordbox. What I didn't realize is my subscription to Serato was still running for months. I was probably getting like a $10 fee a month for like six months without realizing it. Truebill is a new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions that you don't need. Or like me, you just kind of forgot about it. On average, people save $720 a year with Truebill. I also um, got out of a gym membership at the Washington Heights Planet Fitness that I've had for like two years without knowing. So thank you so much, Truebill. Because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel, Truebill makes it really simple. Link your accounts and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions one tap. You guys, you hit cancel subscription, Truebill drafts an email for you to where it needs to go and all you have to do is sign it. I mean, it is unbelievable. This app, you gotta know. I'm not a detective and I have no proof, but you know that there's companies out there when Truebill was invented, they were like, you know what I mean? Like, they were not thrilled about that. Truebill also reminded me, I have been off audiobooks and I've just been reading like real books and not listening to books, but I was paying for Audible for months and I love Audible, but if I didn't have Truebill, Truebill reminded me to take a break, you know? Your Truebill concierge is there to let you know how to cancel unwanted subscriptions. It's so sickening, okay? Two million users have saved over $100 million. It's incredible. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash bald. Go right now, Truebill.com slash bald, and it could save you thousands a year. Truebill.com slash bald. Before we continue with today's lovely podcast, we have to talk about our friends at Squarespace. Now, I've been a small business owner for a very long time. Even before I was like, you know, televised Trixie Mattel, I had a small business as a makeup artist and I was able to build my own website and being in control of my own website, being able to update my pricing, update my portfolio, like as a one man business, one woman business, um, it was just really valuable for me to have my own website that I didn't have to depend on someone for. It's great because with Squarespace, you can sell anything, okay? Your little bracelets, your little funky jewelry, your little customized hand-painted dolls, your little uh, baseball card collection. You can sell anything. You can even sell services right on your website. Simple checkout process, secure payments. It's really fierce. Something else I really love, and I got to tell this, we look at this at Trixie Cosmetics. We look at traffic all the time. So you can look at traffic overviews. Basically, you can see what do people do when they go to your website? What are they clicking on? What are they never interacting with? If they click on this, what do people always click on after? Like it's it's a great way to kind of see how people shop with you and it can help you kind of rearrange your store and kind of make more of a logical experience. I love data, okay? And as a business owner, I love tools like this because I use all of them. Another great one, email campaigns. I mean, it sounds corny, but I'm telling you, there are people who love your business so much, they want to be the first to know about something. They want to be the first to know. So allow those people to be able to get an email from you. Another great thing I love is you can connect all your social media accounts. So I know if you're like me, most of my posting is done on social media. So it's great that I can have that active on my page. Go over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash bald and save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash bald. This episode of The Bald and the Beautiful is brought to you by America's Thinnest Latex Condoms, Trojan Bearskin Raw. If you're thinking to yourself, bearskin, 
What if I'm more into twinks or otters or even boring normies? It's not that type of bear, you fool. I'm talking bear as in B-A-R-E, as in naked, as in disrobed, as in, am I even wearing a condom? Yes, they are that thin. Trojan bearskin raw lets me feel closer to my partner because they're thinner than Katya's G-string. <laughs> and it's like they're not even there. I mean, I might even go as far to say that they're like ghost condoms, silently standing guard and helping protect you from STIs and the risk of pregnancy. Look, people, it's summer, and whether by the pool, in front of the AC, or <laughs> backstage at one of our shows, we're all having sex. But we're doing it responsibly while wearing Trojan bearskin raw condoms. Each one is electronically tested to ensure quality and dependability. If they were any thinner, they'd basically be non-existent. This summer, get out there and do the nasty with every Tom, Dick, and Mary you meet. But do it safely and responsibly while still feeling it all. Trojan Bearskin Raw Condoms are available at major retailers nationwide, so buy a pack today and experience the true meaning of raw. Trojan Bearskin Raw, as raw as it gets. And we're back. Oh, we're back. So I have a girl for you. Um, I'll show you a picture later. I don't want to put her on blast right on the air, but. Okay. (laughs) Your mom. Yeah. My mom's sister. (laughs) My aunt. Yeah. She's 10 years older than my mom. (laughs) I love her. Her name's Chloe Sevigny. (laughs) Um, Let's see. What, um. Okay, I have, a, I have a question. Yes. What kind of men do you like? Because you have, you have a man. Are you guys open? Is that too yeah. personal? No, but what fine. kind of man is in like the porn you search for? I go through, I go through phases of what I like, but the last two boyfriends I've had have been Asian, so, um, but I usually like shorter and smoother mm-hmm. and uh, not white. Mm. Uh, yeah, I like that profile. Love that. Yeah. White guys just don't do anything for me, really. Really? Not really. Well, I think when I was in Baltimore, that's like, there's just no no diversity. It's the most segregated city in the world, so it was just hard to, like, even the gay bars were, like, separated. There was, like, black gay bars, and there was Damn. white gay bars. It was crazy. Good old Baltimore. So it was just hard to, like, meet other people that didn't just look like pasty white people. Ugh. You're from an island that's the opposite of old. They yeah. don't age. Yeah, you're, you get... How you're like, I actually Jeff got a bunch after the last, the last podcast old. was when I got a lot of sexual propositions <gasps> on one Instagram. Yeah. People I saw I looked at the comments, we were like, fuck, are you fuckable? Jeff, let <laughs> fuck those other whores. Yeah. I wanna fuck I'd Jeff. Suck that box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would kill Trixie clit. just to be able to lick his glands. <laughs> yeah. Oh like just God. some people just straight up just full on dick pigs, whole pigs. Like Did just you like that. that? Mm, I mean not for not the first thing, anything else. The second thing, because they could be anybody's. I need to see. I mean, I I'm I, I'm attracted to a face first. Yeah. yeah. If you're not providing a face picture on the internet, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. You're trickery, deceivery. If I want to just look at bodies, I would Google it. Cut up a cadaver. Yeah. Google. I don't know. Yeah. Just penis, penis only. And if you're not supplying conversation and a face and like making this somehow more engaging than pornography, then what are we doing? Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? Next glory hole I go to, I'm going to go with a squirtable dildo and mm-hmm. I'm going to put the dildo through and then just squirt salad dressing at them. Catch up. <laughs> what about people who say cats up? Oh, I hate that. Cats up? I don't think they say it. I think they spell it that way and then they say it differently. Wait a minute. So, so cats, do people cats say up cats up? is the correct spelling for that. It's the correct spelling of ketchup? No, 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 no. You can spell it C A T S U P. But people but don't you say, say cats catch up? up. Yeah, no. They say catch up. <laughs> Jail. Did you think? Jail. 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 Federal prison. <laughs> when I'm from you... Baltimore, so we say everything weird. So. Yeah, do you say, you gotta go home? Home. I wanna go home, drink some water Fuck. in the zinc. I'm gonna wash the car, fill my car with oil. Uh, oil. That's the one I hate the most, oil. Oil. Instead oil. of oil. Oil. My, um, my home was, I had an oil leak. I gotta go wash all the, the, the gnomes in my yard. Oh my God. Horrible. Horrible. Yeah, what is not, that? It's not sexy. No. Although the Wisco one ain't that great either. Oh, Wisconsin? No, it's not good. But it has more um, pep. Yeah, it makes everyone sound really dumb, but really nice. Yeah. Which, yeah, it's hard to make sexy. USA is A-OK. Yeah. Catch us in your mouth, I give you a prize. That sounds, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> that, that's fun. That dropped in gorgeous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Catch us in your mouth. Oh, you're cute. Oh, you're cute. Oh, you're cute. Yeah. <laughs> what about the Boston accent? Um, ignorant. I mean, it's homophobic. just homophobic, uh, racist, um, Catholic, Catholic. Yeah. Just like 
pretty much it hits all the all the negative like um, buzzwords like uh, molested but can't talk about it. Don't like black folks. <laughs> don't like uh, f slurs. Probably gonna beat my girlfriend or wife. It's like not the best thing ever. But like, but Dunkin I love Donuts. the Celtics and the Patriots. Oh, yeah, yeah that's it. Like Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, American runs on Dunkin'. I always think of on that ferry to Provincetown. They have that Dunkin' Donuts right next to the ferry. I think of all the donuts I could eat in there. I fuck with Dunkin' Donuts with a large I've, iced coffee with cream and sugar. Uh, I fuck with their donuts a yeah. lot. Fresh. Yeah, fresh, but like base level good. Yeah. It tastes like a grocery store donut, and that's what I like about it. It's better than a grocery store yeah. donut. Yeah, fresh out the oven, chocolate frosting. It, it is like the dictionary definition of a donut. It's yeah, like it's not like a, any better. It's, it's not like any a worse. Simpsons donut. Yeah, yeah. It's not as like sweet as Krispy Kreme. You ever had Krispy Kreme fresh out the oven in Las Vegas Airport? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much sugar. It's a lot. It's a lot of sugar. And you it can, disintegrates in your mouth. Yeah, it literally. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> what is the nutritional value there? Uh, uh, diabetes. It actually kills you. Yeah, right? just is it like diabetes. bacon where it actually hurts you to eat it? No, bacon is fine. Isn't bacon, don't they always say like that, like actively takes minutes off your life when you eat bacon? I'm oh, sure I have some right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. eat some and let us know how you feel. No, this is turkey bacon, but no, bacon, it's good. It's not worse than a donut. <laughs> it's all in moderation, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, come on. Paula like, Dean I'll, once made a Krispy Kreme breakfast sandwich with like egg and cheese and bacon with, instead of a bread, it was a Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah, and then she fried it in lard and then add some M&Ms and oh my God. Do you guys miss going to the office? She guys used to edit at the office, right? At, at World of Wonder. Uh, Do you guys have water cooler talk there? Yeah, we yeah, but we still get that because we like just FaceTime each other randomly. Mm. I will say I recently moved and like two or three months before that, I did feel like I was going insane because I was just living and working out of a single bedroom oh my god and Ronald, I love my I love my roommates and they like they were, it was the best possible roommate situation you could hope for but I still just like kind of stayed in my room all the time it's too much and uh finally once I moved it was like a breath of fresh air and I can I can like focus again and my cat has room to roam um what's your cat name Shelly Hobbs Hobbs yeah oh like Calvin and Hobbs yeah oh yeah. oh <laughs> um, <laughs> yep yeah. Oh. Welsh? What'd you say? <laughs> orange cat. Oh, orange cat. Yeah. Like like Hobbs. <laughs> How old is the cat? Uh, like eight. So oh, he's so an older she, cat. He, she. I just adopted him. Okay, so he's cat. got plenty of time. Is that all? Eh, we'll see. I, the the they say like nine to twelve years, but but they live a lot longer than that. Like nine to yeah. twelve. Wow. And like more yeah. in Serbia. Than I that. mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cats live forever, like yeah. sixteen years and shit. Look yeah. at that. Andrew's got that chihuahua that's like pushing uh, 16. It's got a drain in the back of its neck. It's oh, still crazy. Right. Andrew, we saw Andrew's chihuahua today. Was attacked by a raccoon. Yeah. Horribly mauled Ma by a raccoon. Yeah. Drain in the neck. What was the cat? What's the dog doing outside? Um, no, 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 no. The raccoon was trying to get in their house and was completely unfazed by Andrew, who was like charging it. And yeah, fat, wild, rabid raccoon and a family. Uh huh. In the heart of West Hollywood, Vaseline Alley. Honestly, he got off early. Or he got off easy. <laughs> well, he got off early. He came. You know what he did? He nutted all over that raccoon. He got off easy. He lives, I don't want to say what street, but that street he lives on is where also people just walk in your house. Oh, Mary. He, naked, tweaking. Yeah, so he, t every time he walks from his, I didn't walk down that street, but um, uh, he walks uh, to the studio, which is a, a couple blocks up. And he always gets propositioned. It could be that he is always nearly nude, glistening with sweat, long uh, Countess Luann hair. Half hard. Uh, half hard, huge butt. Uh, uh, yeah, uh. giant pecs and all that. But yeah, but people like, they will drive by and they'll be like, hey. You're not allowed to. They, they have the signs in West Hollywood that says no cruising <gasps> in those side neighborhoods. What? You've never been that? Like if you no. go south of Santa Monica. Like right south of Santa Monica, all those residential areas, they have signs that says no cruising. Well, like, how do you enforce that? I d well, the, the I car know. thing cruising? is too- No, I was just saying hi. Wait a minute, cruising like driving? Yeah, I don't like that. I mean, cruising if you're they walking- cruise control. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like cruising and like stopping and like, I think that maybe there was just like a lot of like male prostitutes or something hanging out. Well, yeah, because they I think they convince him for being one all the time and they, the, they'll like- He's sending mixed follow him. He's they'll sending follow him around the block, they'll like, Pass him, then like do a Yui, come back. It's too much. That's what the That's <laughs> that's what the chasers used to do outside the gay club. They drive I around loved they it. drive around the gay club and rolled the window down this much and drive slow. Yeah. Come here. Like the Daytona yeah. five hundred. I'm, no, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna approach your tinted window car with the window on this much. 
where I don't know if there's a gun or how many people are in the car. No. I would. <laughs> and I did. And I, there was never a gun. And there was like, usually just one person, except there was a dog once. But, you know. What about, we were talking about this. What about when you get the ride thinking if you give the hand job or whatever, you oh, get it for and free. And then they give, they go, it's only it's 15 bucks. Yeah. I fucking blew a cat. Or, no, I didn't blow him. I, um, you know, I, I gave him a gestural, um, uh, you know. You gave him the, the Jennifer Lopez experience. <laughs> <laughs> like South Park, I gave, I gave him the ex girlfriend experience, <laughs> and I was like, you know, I was like, oh man, I'll jerk him off because he was sniffing, sniffing hard, and he still charged me for the ride. <laughs> and my fucking, I, I mean, he's for just because he, just because he was horny, he still has to make a living. Uh, That's a really good point <laughs> when you put it that way. Yes, it is, but however, or maybe do, it, my, maybe, do my services are they worth nothing? Uh, I was maybe, trying to make a living too. Maybe it wasn't good. <laughs> Am I 70, David? <laughs> oh my God, you're trying to tell me that my calloused, bony witch claw might not have brought him to orgasm? And knowing you, working with you, I bet there was no makeup on the hands. Of course there, there was. Red knuckles. Red, red knuckles. No, we got purple knuckles, uh, gray white uh, hands, and then rings. hair. Rings. Lots rings. of hair. hair. Yeah, hairy knuckles. <laughs> hair and sheep rings. He yeah. probably got a rash. Yeah, he's like, um, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. So many humiliations in drag. Have you guys ever bought a hooker? <laughs> I have a question. Have you guys ever pitched things at WoW or anywhere else that you wanted to do that didn't go, that you were like, that was so cool? Mm. You know, because Owen will die someday. What do you want to do next? Well, they are doing something Well, it's like, next. maybe we've pitched things. <gasps> and maybe they and did they go. they did yeah. go. And maybe you are getting fired tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I, I love the job, of course, but when we signed in for 90 episodes. Oh, it's a lot. Mary, magical thinking. It magical thinking. felt like science fiction. It felt like in Broke Down Palace when the one girl decides to stay in the prison so the <laughs> other can leave, but neither of us left. We we're both in the prison. I'm Claire Danes and you Claire decide Danes. to stay in the prison, and I just go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we love our job, and we do want yeah. to keep doing it. Uh, but it is one of those things where we want to be able to do uh and do other new things. Yeah. And so it's always a balance of like trying to figure out. Maybe how many have we done this happen. season? I really have no idea. There's, I don't. Uh, we said, I think you, filming wise, I think you've almost filmed it. We're almost done with this season, right? We're yeah. almost at thirty. What is the season? Is 30, thirty episodes. 30 episodes. It's thirty episodes. It's three cycles of ten. That's always the case. Mm -hmm. Oh, because now I think it's ten. They take a break. Ten. They take. A, so it goes all year, sort of. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So I think we're almost done with this season. Yeah, because we did Halloween. Fly. I mean, if that if we started six years ago, that's crazy. That's so sick. Also, the different. number of episodes is crazy. When the number, how many? What are you guys on? 150, 160? It's like 160s now. Yeah. That's crazy. When you think of 160 drag looks over the. That's, how, that's, uh, well, that's crazy. For me, maybe 90. <laughs> <laughs> it's also crazy from a perspective of like. Oh, what episode was that in? And then we have to go sift well, through Well, yeah, because nowadays episodes. with all the times that we repeat stories ad nauseum, <laughs> I mean, sometimes we'll re repeat a story three, four times. And no one stops us. And because no we one don't know because it. we don't know. The it's, thing that I love, though, is it's, and you hit the same beats and the same jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. a good sign. Maybe a, a, a good and bad news. Good is um, you're uh, you're on the right track comedic-wise, yeah, exactly. but you also have dementia. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, it's clear that we not only repeat stories we don't, we don't listen, listen to, to each, each other, other. <laughs> like, have I ever told you this no <laughs> yeah, oh, and both of you it? are just it's the first time you ever heard it <laughs> goldfish brain goldfish brain screen wipe but I think that's an asset yeah it is and sometimes like because everybody knows we don't really hang out in real life we mm -hmm. only talk here in yeah. our camera so sometimes we'll you know I don't know maybe we should stick to more topical things we're always telling stories from like a decade ago we're well, never no, telling stories from like this year. Because nothing happened to me this year. I got an electric bike. That's it. There's nothing else to talk about. Mayor of Easttown. I could talk about the mayor of Easttown for three episodes. <laughs> I do like when we can make jokes about the fact that you've told the jokes. I, before. Yeah, well, yeah. You seem to have a lot of fun with that, Ronald. <laughs> uh, Last night I laid in bed and thought about watching The Handmaid's Tale. That's the closest I've come to watching television in a while. Oh my God. Well, you don't count Real Housewives of Television? Oh, that's homework. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I, I sometimes put it on, but. Is that really television? Like a real series like that? Like a oh, real... you mean like a scripted thing? Yeah. Okay. I don't really watch anything like that. What's uh, the last amazing scripted series you watched? Um, if you well, it's uh, Why Women Kill. Is that good? It's campy oh, as hell. Okay. It's so campy. A lot of uh, male nudity in that. Um, there's like a lot of uh, male icon, eye candy, eye candy. <laughs> there's I a lot of male eye candy. candy. <laughs> uh, but no, nothing. Uh, there's maybe a butt shot or something. Mm. Yeah. 
We should do an episode of uh, that's not really on a topic, but that's just midsummer related. Um, where we the, the movie Midsummer? Yeah, where you just set yourselves on fire. No, no, no. <laughs> where we, um, I jump from the thing, oh, break one leg, and you were gonna and come with I, the mallet. Yes. Yeah. I honestly like I rewatched it yesterday. Incredible. I have no issue living in a society where at an age you jump. I have no 72. issue. Seventy-two. Let's wrap it up with dignity and some. You know what I mean? Well, maybe 72 not dignity. Seventy-two is fine. Yeah. It's incredible. Who's at, I mean, I guess like Betty White is doing shit at 90, but like who's hitting their stride There's only three people really Betty getting Betty White, it. we haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, she could be dead right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> My friend was on Hot in Cleveland a couple of years ago, and he said that there was like, he's like, there was just a group of handlers like making sure she stayed alive. Just like, how are you, Betty? Do you need, here's your medication. Here's your like, just like. <laughs> Oxygen. Oh my God. That ventilator. Yeah, at. yeah, yeah. I would rather just, I want to do that thing. I want to cut the hands, you know, uh, slide my things on the rune slab and then just. Plus they're all, what I didn't like about that movie is you're going to go jump off a cliff, right? You're all having these dignified, tiny little shot glasses of booze. I'm like, if we're jumping, Mary, yeah. you're bong. Like, let's do this. <laughs> I'm not doing a, a thimble of mm, juniper. Mm. No, I want like <laughs> you jump with the well, beer. Well, there was all the like, tripping. Was butt it like jug. drugs? You think they? they took? I think they were. I think they were. But they were turned, turned in some way. Yeah, to jump. I think they were turned. Yeah, everybody gets turned before a ritual in that movie. They drink a little like acid, whatever that acid stuff. Yeah, or the yeah, they're butt yeah. chugging. Yeah, they're butt chugging es a mescaline. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's take another break. Yeah, let's take a break. Okay. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. I have to ask you a question, which is, I mean, there's a million ways to take care of things in your life. You can wash your car, you can vacuum your bedroom, you can clean your bird's cage. And I find that as people, we don't always take the best care of ourselves. Take it from me. I will let pretty much everything in my life run down to empty before I try to do anything about it. And then I feel trapped, stressed, overwhelmed. And the worst part is, you know, I do it to myself. I want to talk to you about BetterHelp, which is something that, I mean, just call it talk therapy. Like I love, I love, love my partner, love my partner. But there are certain anxieties that I have that are recurring that, you know, pop up every, and I don't want to, you know, overanalyze myself. But like there's a few things that really just like dismantle me when they happen and they happen cyclically having to do with my career or like, you know, my family and my partner is really supportive of me. But I find that it really helps our relationship if I have a better place to constantly dump some of these recurring conversations and maybe get some resolution. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat-only therapy sessions so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. I mean, sometimes if you don't feel good about yourself, the last thing you want to do is see yourself on camera. It's more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash bald. That's BetterHelp.com slash bald. Hi, it's me, a little girl. What goes great with a summer vibe? I know for me, a little girl, my summer vibe is um my little water wings and and my mom lets me run in the in the front yard with the hose running cuz it's summer vibes and I'm a little girl. Like a cool wind breeze, chime is a refreshing way to handle your money. With no monthly fees, no maintenance fees, and no minimum balance fees. It's how banking should be. And when you need access to your money, you can do so fee-free at more than 60,000 in-network ATMs at many locations like Walgreens, 7-Eleven, and CVS. Um, my mom takes me to CVS, um, and sometimes she lets me get candy, because I'm a little girl. You can also send money to anyone, even if they aren't on Chime. Fee free for you and no cash out fees for them. <laughs> no monthly fees. No vibe killing fees. Sign up for Chime checking account. Only takes two minutes. It's even easy for me, a little girl. It doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com slash bald. That's Chime.com slash bald. 
Chime is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services provided by and debit card issued by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank and a member's FDIC. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees apply except at MoneyPass ATM in a 7-Eleven location and at any AllPoint or Visa Plus Alliance ATMs. Other fees such as third-party and cash deposit fees may apply. Hey everyone, it's Cher. Have you heard about the legendary underwear brand that's taking over the podcast world? Famous for buttery soft undies and bralettes, MeUndies loves podcasts just as much as you do. It's like you're made for each other. Get to know the underwear brand on everyone's podcasting lips. There's so much more than undies, and I would know because I'm Cher. And in my shows, I wear a lot of lingerie, bras, and panties. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's not Cher. Cher left the room. Sorry, Cher left. It's me, uh, Trixie. You guys, I love me undies. I'm currently in London filming a TV show, and I packed mm, like seven pairs of underwear, seven pairs of socks. They're all me undies. They're all me undies. Every pair of me undies I've gotten have just. So the first ones I reached for, they've been washed a million times and they feel brand new. They stretch to like, I don't know how they do it, like 10 times their size, but they're still lightweight. They're breathable. They have fun patterns. And a lot of them have matching socks. And I have to say, you just feel like that bitch when you have matching socks and underwear. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. One of my favorite pieces is this black pair of like, they're almost like genie pants, like very baggy, like pajama pants, but they're so big. I mean, I could fit two people in them and I have, ooh. Everyone knows me. Sorry, it's Cher. I'm back. Hey. <laughs> Everyone knows me undies for their soft, super soft undies and comfy bralettes. But you know that they make other stuff too? We're talking durable, cushy socks that'll make your feet sing. And I know about singing. Ho! Oh. We're talking stretchy loungewear, daily tees, shorts, and rompers that add a little silky softness to your everyday. They even make hoodies for the dog. Oh, I love to put my dog in one of my costumes. Oh, <laughs> available in sizes XS to 4XL in tons of colors and prints. Make me undies your destination for all things soft and sustainable. Ho! Oh. Share left again. It's Trixie. Me Undies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first time purchasers, you get 20% off plus free shipping and return. Did you say free shipping? Yes, I did. Can you believe it? Free shipping. Whoa! Get 20% off your order, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Go to MeUndies.com slash bald. That's MeUndies.com slash bald, bitch. I loved that movie. It's it fantastic. Got me together. It's one of my all-time Both favorites. of the, his movies are so yeah. hereditary. hereditary. Are we back? Yeah. We're back. Wait, wait. Did you see the one where the... the, 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 the his his short film? No. No. Oh, Mary Dugan. Okay. Nine, the the music video called. for 911? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ari Aster, uh, I, he in college perhaps or film school, he directed a short film where it's this like middle class black family, and the secret is the son rapes the father. What? At his so it starts at the wedding. The son gets married, and it's you see the the father is forced to blow. It's yeah, it's a blowjob thing. <laughs> So basically, he goes through his whole life raping the dad. Oh, so it's like an ongoing thing. Oh yeah. So it and then it, oh, I think it starts at the wedding uh, reception. The the son's getting married to a woman, and um, but they have this little secret, and the the son continuously ancestrally rapes the dad, and the dad is like trying to, um, like tell people about it. I think he's writing like a screenplay or something. The child, the kid finds it, and then I think everybody dies at the end. I've never heard of this. No, it's not very well known. I watched it um, and I was like, holy fucking shit. How do you get I from think... that to everybody dies? How did they all die? Oh, well, so, okay, so, um, spoilers, but like, the there's a, he runs outside and gets hit by a car. I think the mom, um, I think the mom finds out and I think maybe he kills the mom too, the son. Oh, that was originally the pilot for Murphy Brown. <laughs> It was like verbatim. <laughs> for Party of Five. <laughs> yeah. It was Cheers. Yeah. It was called Queers. I mean, it was, it's wild. It's wild. Also, I don't understand the logistics of, I mean, we don't have to get into like the logistics of rape, I suppose, but um, blowing a man that does not want to be blown, how does that work? Oh. Just suck it on a noodle? Sorry. Is it too I don't much? know. I don't know. I've, I've luckily haven't been in that situation in a long time <laughs> but yeah. but anyways that movie was wild or the short film was wild you should watch it 
I don't think so I know. So who likes? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your favorite restaurant? <laughs> Oh God! Uh, mm. These are the fun stories that don't yeah, make it. In yeah, the yeah, I know. Ronald, we have to we have to focus on you for the majority of this episode. <laughs> okay, okay. This so, side of the room um, is done. Yeah, yeah. We've had this enough. Is We're talking about porn. We're talking about. I'm afraid I don't have many stories from my. Time it's okay. In porn. I have a questionnaire for you. Is that okay? okay? Yeah. What's the sound that you love? Oh fuck! Uh, not that. Not that one. Um. <sighs> Okay, actually, I do have. I got this button, this plastic button of you guys saying "uh," and they prototyped it for DragCon, and the speaker is so bad that it just sounds like garbled drig- digital droning. And whenever I need to cheer myself up, I press the button and just like relish the fact that it was too bad to be sold. And it's sold. just like, uh, yeah. it just sounds like you guys are like being murdered, like, yeah. like a snuff film of you two being murdered. Yeah, because it's like I'm one of the that. Kind. Yeah. yeah, I wish I brought it with me. What's the sound that you hate? Uh, chair scratching on the floor. Mm-hmm. <gasps> mm. Yeah, especially because I just moved into a new apartment with new mm. floors. And... You know what I hate? People who uh, uh, teeth on the fork, put the fork in the mouth, bite yep. the fork, mm. pull it out. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Do you bite ice cream? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. Of course. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you can't just lick it the whole time. No, I th- I mostly just lick it. You're mostly a licker? Because I'm not, I like an ice cream cone more than like an Oh, no, mama. I when I get that cone, it. I bite the shit out of oh, it. I bite thing. the hell out Doesn't of it. Doesn't it hurt your teeth? No. no. <laughs> See, my teeth are too no. sensitive. I get no. it on a spoon and I bite it. No, I bite it. <laughs> Last night, I got a little turned <laughs> and I ordered two pints of Ben and Jerry's to my house. And what I flavor? And I ate half of each. It's about oh. a thousand calories. No. I'll house a pint like that. The ice cream you made, the peanut butter ice cream, is like some of the best ice cream I've ever had. Oh my God. My ice cream career was short-lived and there was some highs and some lows. I gave you an incredible batch and I gave her a bad batch. Oh my God, it was like a, like a bag of like nasty tried, yeah, uh, strawberry yogurt. I tried to yogurt. make it custard yeah. and it had too much egg in it. It was just yeah. like eggy. It was I was weird. still looking forward to it, a big ice cream lover. I, I said, Mary, this is rotten. But I made yeah. him chocolate peanut butter ice cream and that was lit. What's, so the, what's the calorie percentage compared to Ben and Jerry's on that? Any idea? Yeah, and, well, Ben and Jerry's is similar to like homemade ice cream in that it's like a high milk fat content. Okay. Because did you know that if something has less than 10% milk fat, it's not legally called ice cream? So when you go to the grocery store and you buy like a giant thing of ice cream, it'll be called frozen dairy treat and stuff like that. Frozen dairy treat. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Also, when you make ice cream, a lot of it is whipping air into it to create like bubbles in the fat globules. So a lot of times like the giant gallon bucket of ice cream is the same weight as the tiny fancy ice cream. It just is filled with air. Isn't that interesting? That's, yeah, that's like how that's Subway wrong. can't call their bread bread anymore. What? You know that? There's like not enough actual bread in it. <laughs> that what like is they it? legally can't call it Newspaper bread. Newspaper clippings? Like, what <laughs> oh, is no. it? What is I don't it? know. Well, there's also been like all so the... much sugar and like preservatives and stuff in it. It's like not really bread. There's been all the controversy about this Subway tuna, right? Where it's like. Uh, well, come on. I mean, it's just like f- fish like paste. I mean, if you're going to Subway getting the tuna. Yeah, you got it. Isn't it like imitation crab where it's like fake crab that's just flavored with like a teeny percent of real crab i uh, that's why we don't need to eat seafood no i do not fuck with seafood especially i mean i'm vegetarian but also i do not fuck with seafood i work in p-town and people are there you crack it into a fucking lobster are you kidding me yeah why don't you just go in like in an alley in manhattan get a large rat and then just like saute that and eat it (laughs) you have to crack the exoskeleton to suck out the white Do you eat lobster? It's a lot of work, but I like lobster. Clam, yeah. hard shell crabs. Yeah, yeah. Baltimore, Baltimore. We have crab. We we do crabs. Crabs. Yeah. You do have crabs. I one time saw somebody had a plastic bib on with a lobster that said, "Let's get cracking." <laughs> <laughs> you do mussels, or yeah, uh, yeah mussels. Uh, you fuck oysters. With all of it, don't you? Yeah, I, there is some like fishy fish I don't love, like, such as tilapia. I think hysterical that Gia named herself after literally the cheapest, smelliest fish. Is it? Yes cheap like fresh tilapia it's like like maybe caviar is a better reference you know like yeah it, tilapia is like um i'm like like a hot dog <laughs> <laughs> literally i didn't know that yeah it's like cheap shitty fish wow right yeah yeah anyways um mussels clams crabs True. uh octopus y'all yeah. got cars yeah what do you drive i drive like a 2015 honda fit 
Is that the square one? It's a hatchback. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, it means it doesn't have like a regular trunk. It like it's kind of boxy, and the back lifts up, so you can s- slide a bunch of stuff from IKEA. The back is a hatch. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, not yeah. a hunchback. Um, the hatchback of no driver. <laughs> yeah, the hatchback. <laughs> I have a 2010 Honda Civic. Replaced my last one. I crashed on the 101. Oh my god! Flipped. Oh. Flipped multiple times. Were you okay? Tokyo Drift. Somehow, he yeah. That's why I only will get a Honda. He died. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> Ron said he died. <laughs> <laughs> this is all sawdust. He died on the he died on the table. No, a guy tried to like get off an exit early, and I and I literally turn and just see a car coming straight towards me on the Mary? one, and I went and turned to get out of the way and just missed it. But I had to turn so hard it r- flipped my car, and I just was rolling, and I thought I was rolling into the traffic. But I was just rolling on the shoulder. And if I rolled into the traffic, I would have died. Mm-hmm. But luckily, I didn't. Could have died And I, it was way. the thing where I was just upside down. Like on a roller coaster? Yeah, and all the glass had shattered. And so then I was just hanging there. But I was like, oh, I'm okay. And then I, like, like upside down, like, put it in neutral and got my keys out. And then I, like, crawled out. And then all these people were like, he's alive. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm okay. I'm okay. And this person's like, you have blood pouring down your face. Oh, my <laughs> God. Like, oh. Jesus Christ. I'm alive. I love you <laughs> yeah. stepping out of that rubble. Yeah. Like, hey. I have a lot of no arms. Yeah. I'm a bad bitch. Y'all can't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> but then the... Uh, I what was, about the guy who... D- the Did he get away scot-free? Yeah. They oh, tried to... No one got his uh, Unbelievable. license plate. But I was... I was uh, kind of gay bashed by the by the paramedic and the police and the firemen. Excuse me, what now? What were you going to some kind of cock sucking <laughs> conference? Yeah. Well kind of because <laughs> they found in my bag, they were just looking to see if I was on drugs. Oh. And they found a flyer for this old gay bar that closed down in Silver Lake called MJ's with like a hot naked guy and they were all like Oh, oh you must you must be on meth and heroin this and crack is what you like, huh? Oh look and they were passing it around and laughing at me while I was like in a gurney. <sighs> Excuse me, what? This yeah. is fucking crazy. Isn't that, that crazy? That is, I mean, you didn't hit the person. If you no, were like the, no. the the perpetrator in a vehicular manslaughter or something, I can see maybe razzing the razzing the perp on the ambulance ride. Yeah. The you know problem I mean? is I would be the perp. Like, if I got like in a traffic stop and I wasn't drinking or anything, it was like, oh, you're on a fender bender. Where were you coming from? I was like, oh, I was coming from a hot dog Sundays with Mario Diaz at LC. <laughs> <laughs> Night's called Big Fat Dick. <laughs> oh, if you need proof that I was there, I have videos of someone blowing me. <laughs> oh. But it was, uh, the funny That's thing is insane. after I went to the hospital and then they're like, oh, you're fine. But they gave me like some pain medication. And I was so high taking like the Uber back. And in the Uber, they were like, traffic's a mess from an accident on the 101. And I just went, that's me. It was me. <laughs> and the driver's like, what? <laughs> like, like, you're fit. like it was your song playing on the radio. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like in that thing you do. You're like, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, my big moment. I was on the news two days ago. Yesterday. I was on the news yesterday. Local Los Angeles news. For what? Because I went to brunch and <laughs> they said, the camera person was like, hi, can we? Oh, they have a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, hi, uh, restaurants are requiring vaccination cards. Do you want to talk about it? And I said, no, I can't talk about it. Uh, no, thank you. And so I gave no comment. But then they filmed me showing my cards. So they're like, Los Angeles residents showing their vax cards. And it cuts to faggy ass me, <laughs> bald in a button up floral shirt, showing my card like. <laughs> <laughs> so people were texting me like, are you on the news? And I'm like, oh, no. On the like KTLA local yes. news, wow! So if you see a white ball faggot showing their vax card from three days ago, it was me. I was doing a TikTok <laughs> dance. <laughs> yeah, I was doing the say so dance. What? What? I don't even know how it goes. It's like, do you think we should just exclusively um, transition to TikTok informational yeah. dancing videos on? Mm-hmm. Uh? Yeah, I'm actually editing one like before I came over here. Yeah, you were doing like five ways to tell if your daughter's on drugs. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's so it's bad. Easy. Well, we were obsessed with these people doing TikTok dances. Who it's like ten ways to know that your body's decomposing, yeah. and they're like smiling, dancing, but yeah. it's like horrible yeah. shit. Yeah, your dog has worms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's so crazy. Yeah, but I do. I did get a kick out of the nurses who are like doing whatever uh, latest challenge in front of their like dying patients or corpses. <laughs> you know, in the morgue. Yeah, but things you need to know about working in the ER. <laughs> Get used to piss. <laughs> Blood everywhere. Yeah. Smell the shit. Don't let it get you down. <laughs> yeah. Well. Oh my god. Do you want these horse to follow you guys or not? Yes, please. Be careful what you re- wish for. You know the people that watch. Uh, you know they're unhinged. Yeah. 
I'm used to it. Yeah, Are you on Hinge? I am. Yeah. yeah. Do you like it? Eh, it's fine. Yeah, me too. I like Bumble. Mostly. What's up with Bumble? Straights only? I don't know how the gender dynamics work. Because um, mm-hmm. I know that women have to message first. Like you swipe and match and then women message first. That's nice, right? It's like Sadie oh. Hawkins. Yeah. You're like, if no one messages me, it's not my responsibility. It probably doesn't surprise anyone that like I hate messaging first. I like overthink it. I get anxious. What? Uh, With your outrageously gregarious and outgoing personality <laughs> that yeah. borders on obnoxious yeah. every time. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it's great that, you know, they have to go first. Yeah. Well, I think it's good to always hit the ground running. Hi is nothing. Hello. That is, you might yeah. as well say nothing. Yeah. Open with something memorable, uh, like that draws you in. My grandmother just passed. Weirdest <laughs> thing. We can't find her body. <laughs> Sets you up for like a... Or never works. Do you like airports? I like airports. No, that, sound, that? that sounds like Tom Hanks. <laughs> Tom Hanks in that movie. I said that. You read that comment on for my OK Cupid when I let you into my messages. That's right. You yeah. said, do you like airports? Well, well, like, I weirdly love them. She said in her profile that she liked airports. So I was, what about, <laughs> how about how about this one? You I'm know, glad I'm getting haze for this twice. <laughs> Airplane takeoffs can be really impressive. <laughs> you know what there is magical, something magical. If you ever flown with someone who's flown for the first time, watch their face as the plane takes off. Especially if they get the ears thing. It oh. is chilling. When you're on the plane, they send you these, a person yeah. who's never on a plane is like, oh, we're dying. Yeah. First time I was in an international flight, I got so bad the, um, the ear pressure, so bad. You started screaming? Scream crying. No, you didn't. I swear to God, 92 in Portugal, and then- You were 92 years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, old. <laughs> reverse old. Bring it back. We need to do reverse old. They need to bring the Benjamin end, Button to the beach. beach. <laughs> at the bing, end, bing. it's fetuses suffocating out, outside the womb. I'm gonna tell you, there's no the spoilers. End, Mary, listen, they, these two kids, the kids are six and seven, went uh, into a tent, went through puberty in the tent, fucked in the tent, came back, when they came out, five minutes later, she's uh, five months pregnant. Are they brother and sister? No, 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 no. They came out five months pregnant. So that means they, and so they're adults and they still don't like know how to read or anything. Uh, (laughs) Well, the kid was annoyingly precocious. So like, um, but then they had the baby, left uh, left unattended for one minute, dead. And then the baby is wrapped up, like wrapped up, bag of bones, sandy bones. <laughs> Sickening. Sandy bones, yeah. <laughs> I gotta watch this movie. Uh, you will love it. I'm gonna you love it. You will love it. It's <laughs> fucking rotten. The script should never have been greenlit. I'm ready. It's so bad. You know, I, 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 how uh, do you feel when people are constantly tagging you in the the billboards of the well, woman Well, now with I don't legs? mind. But like, I mean, it's, you know, having seen it, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. But they, this woman has a tumor, benign tumor. All of a sudden, oh my God, it's a baseball. Oh wait, it's a cantaloupe. You know what? Grab that pocket knife. We gotta cut it out of her right now. They cut it out. Oh, the, the wound closed up. Cut it out again. Pull the flesh open. Keep it open. They dig this thing out that's the size of a fucking watermelon. And it just goes, oh, I'm awake. Fierce. It's so bad. It's so, so bad. I love it. I can't wait to watch it. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. Okay. Where can they find you, children? I'm uh, at Art of Watt, A-R-T-O-F-W-O-T on Twitter and Instagram. Mm-hmm. And on TikTok? Sure. I haven't posted anything on TikTok. You I always, have one? I always think, yeah, but I have nothing on Let's it. Let's get it cracking. I should. You gotta talk to this one, the CEO of TikTok Mama. over here. Listen, you need any pointers? I'm, I'm right in on the ground floor. <laughs> okay. <I'll> get you. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Do you follow her TikTok? Yeah, I do. I love the like stuff. Love you love all the sex content? Yeah. 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 I told you about the dream I had where it was like you a video did. game and every step you took in the video game, you kicked off a leg and then legs just kept multiplying and filling up the level until it was just full of legs. That's going to be my movie, Leg. <laughs> <laughs> it's an island where legs keep shooting off oh, your body. And the best part is the, the like publisher was like, oh, the game's broken. And I was like, no, mm, this is hard. It's working yeah. just fine. <laughs> Um, you you can find me at uh, Evil Jeff on Instagram and the Evil Jeff on Twitter. Cool, I love it. No TikTok, huh? I once I I don't post anything. I just yeah. skulk. Yeah, work. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us for another episode of the Bald and the Beautiful, and thank you to our special guests for coming here today. Woo! Yay! And congratulations on those streamies. They'll be in the mail by twenty seven. Yeah, I cannot. Twenty twenty seven. Although, but we both moved. 
Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, none of you can complain about missing awards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Would you live in a TikTok house with us? A content house? With you two, yes. Mm. Anyone else, no. Okay. Content house. Content house. What about, it's like mansions that people like spray paint the TikTok logo on, right? Yeah, it's just like, it, it's just like a, um, is the TikTok house the modern version of like a literary a salon? A sorority. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh. Uh, stay tuned for another episode of The Bald and the Beautiful coming at you fast and wet and hot soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Show us your clam. <laughs>